Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya Star Wars Artifacts Plus General Grievous. That's right, the one-tenth line of collectible Artifacts Plus mini statues continues on from Kotobukiya, giving us another character straight out of Revenge of the Sith. Let's check him out. As you can see, General Grievous comes in the same style black packaging we've seen on all of the Star Wars products from Kotobukiya thus far. Featuring an image of the General Grievous statue right there in the middle of the box, along with the Star Wars logo at the lower portion. And then the back of that packaging just gives us a glimpse at some of the different ways you can display the General Grievous statue, as well as gives you a description of the product within. Now upon opening up this package, you will notice that there is some minor assembly required. You'll also notice that there are some multiple display pieces, so that way you can pop out some of the parts to display him in different ways. Now there is an included sheet of instructions that will help guide you through the process of putting this guy together, but it is pretty straightforward and very easy to assemble. Since the statue is already pre-painted and all of the joints just pop right into place, there's really no modeling skills needed whatsoever. It's very easy to assemble this guy the way you want and put him on your shelf ready for display. Now I mentioned that you're going to notice that there are some multiple display options. First of all, he includes two different sets of interchangeable arms. That way you can display your General Grievous with normal two arms or with his opened up forearm mode. He also includes four different lightsabers, which can be positioned in each of his hands. So if you want him in the two-armed pose, you can just use two of those sabers. Or the four-armed pose gets all four of them, or, you know, any count of lightsabers that you wish to put in there. The great thing is that each of these lightsabers are all individual pieces, and they are all different from one another. Taking a look at the handles, you'll notice that they're all individual sculpts, so not one of these lightsabers is identical. And they all have very good paint jobs, with some great gold, silver, and blacks seen throughout on all of them. And then they each include their own blades, some green, some blue, and they have the ability to pull apart at the handle, which will help you in putting them into General Gravis' hands. So putting him on display, he stands roughly 8 inches tall. And measuring all the way across from his outstretched arms is another 9 inches. So he is quite a massive character, even though he's in this awesome hunched over pose. But that is perfect, as this is the way the character should appear. He is a much larger character that does kind of tower over everybody else. Now, all of the details on this guy are beautifully done, exactly as Kotobukiya is known for. The same amount of detail and all of the awesome sculpting that we've seen all across all of the other Star Wars artifacts plus statues are seen beautifully on this particular figure. You can see all of his mechanical parts on his legs and everything are done in such a really cool fashion. And one of the things that I really like is if you look up at his chest and you can kind of separate the little chest pieces there to look at the sculpt underneath, which has got a really nice translucent green area, which is where the parts of him that are non-mechanical still exist. Obviously that played a big role in the film, and it's really cool to see that translated right here onto the statue in such a beautiful fashion. Another neat thing here is that like on many of the Artifacts Plus statues from Kotobukiya, the head is on a ball joint, which means you can rotate the head around, move it left and right, which are going to give you even more options for displaying this guy. Now also included is General Grievous' cape, which just gives you one more mode of display for this guy. It works well for either the two-armed or the four-armed pose, and it's made of a nice kind of solid plastic there, which has got a really nice paint job on it. The outside is gray, but there's some really nice shading around all the wrinkles and folds that makes it look like it's flowing very realistically, while the inside has a little nice sculpted diamond cut detail, and it's done in like a red color, which also is nice and shaded over, so it's beautiful looking. It fits right around his neck, and there's like these little hinges on there that holds it in place, so that way it's nice and tight around his neck. And it folds up and around his arms and looks as if they're draped right over his arms. And like I said, works perfect for both the two-arm pose and the forearm pose. This is great because now you have so many different ways you can display this guy. You can give him two arms with no cape, two arms with cape, four arms without cape, four arms with cape, Four lightsabers, three lightsabers, two lightsabers. There are so many different ways that you can choose to display General Grievous on your shelf. 
And to help keep them standing is this awesome display base, which is the same one we've seen on all of the Star Wars artifacts plus statues. It's just a black square base, but you'll notice that there are embedded magnets on the bottom of General Grievous' feet which he clings nicely to the stand. It's nice and tight, and this will allow you to pose him anywhere on the stand that you wish so that he'll fit on your shelf in the desired display pattern. This is great because with pegs, you're usually limited on the way you can display this guy. But since there's no pegs and instead we have magnets, not only can we put him any way we want to on this base, but of course you can also line him up with your other Star Wars Artifacts Plus statues and you can even have them crossing over bases on one another, which is going to make for a really cool display piece when all said and done. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the one-tenth scale Star Wars Artifacts Plus General Grievous. This is another beautiful piece in this line that I absolutely love. And while a lot of these characters have turned out so good, I have to say that General Grievous here is probably among my favorites done so far. There's just so much awesome going on with this guy. I love all of the alternate modes of display with him, and he just looks so menacing. He was beautifully captured in this wonderful one-tenth scale statue, and I think he'll definitely make a great addition to your Star Wars Artifacts Plus collection. So for more information on Kotobukiya and their products, you can visit them online at www.kotous.com. And be sure to like them on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time...